These are 25 budget studio condenser microphones ranging between $50 and $500. Today we're going to break down the pros and cons of these microphones and decide on 5 finalists based on the sound quality they offer at their price. I've been testing these mics for the past week and I honestly think we're in for a big surprise. <laughs> Okay, so before we kick off this microphone battle, please make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. My goal is to get 300,000 subscribers by the end of this year and there's absolutely no way I can do that without you. Now, to start things off, I've laid out each microphone depending on its price point, leaving us with seven microphones under $100, six microphones under $200, six microphones under $300, four microphones under $400, and two microphones under $500. Since we only have two microphones in this price range, let's start with a head-to-head -head sound test comparison. Hey there girl, is your daddy home? Did he go and leave you all alone? Mm -hmm. I've got a bad desire. Oh, I'm on fire. Tell me now, baby, is he good to you? Can he do to you the things that I do? Oh, no. I can take you high Oh, I'm on fire Hey there girl, is your daddy home? Did he go and leave you all alone? Mm -hmm. Hey there girl, is your daddy home? Did he go and leave you all alone? Mm -hmm. So for me, these two microphones are very similar, yet very different at the same time. Both come with the same accessories, both are well built, they offer the same features, but in terms of sound quality, this is where the difference lies for me. The C80 sounds bright and crispy, where the C214 offers a little bit more low end, which is something I personally like when it comes to vocals. If you gave me $500 to buy a microphone, I'm gonna take the C214. Next, we've got four microphones under $400. This is gonna be a tough pick. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Times Square won't shine as bright as you. I swear it's true. Hey there Delilah, don't you worry about the distance I'm right there if you get lonely you Keep the song another listen, close your eyes Listen to my voice, that's my disguise I'm by your side And oh, it's what you do to me No, it's what you do to me and oh, it's what you do to me No, it's what you do to me What you do to me And oh, it's what you do to me No, it's what you do to me And oh, it's what you do to me No, it's what you do to me and oh, it's what you do to me, no, it's what you do to me. And oh, it's what you do to me, no, it's what you do to me. Okay, this is a bit more challenging. The Shure SM7B is a great sounding microphone, but if I'm recording vocals in a studio setting, this will not be my first choice. The AT4033A sounds great. It comes with a metal shock mount and case, but lacks the versatility of multiple polar patterns, which is something you get with the Rode NT2A. But at this price point, I'm gonna have to go with the Avatone CV12. This is the only tube 
Bluetooth microphone actually worth getting under $500 and it offers lovely warmth and tonal coloration, great accessories. I mean, Taylor Swift used this microphone to record her vocals, so I think it deserves to be on the list. Heading over to the six microphones we have under $300, this is a price point where you get a lot of value for what you pay. Well, you done done me and you bet I felt it I try to beat you, but you're so hot that I melted I fell right through the cracks And now I'm trying to get back Before the cool done went out I be giving it my best There's nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention I reckon it's again my turn To win some or learn some But I won't have Zarte no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. There's no need to complicate. Our time is short. This is our fate. I'm yours. Before the cool done run out, I be giving it my best. This nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn. Before the cool done run out, I be giving it my best. This nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn. Before the cool done run out, I be giving it my best. This nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn. Before the cool done run out, I be giving it my best. This nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn for the cool done run out i be giving it my best is nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention i reckon it's again my turn for the cool done run out i be giving it my best is nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention i reckon it's again my turn Okay, for me, there are only two microphones in this price category that I would consider buying right now. The PGA27 is not up to standard in build and design. The AT2050 would be a top pick under $200, but at $250, it's a little overpriced. The WA47 Junior sounds great, but the build quality is surprisingly poor, and the NT1 fifth generation with a USB and XLR input, I'd rather pay $100 less and get the same microphone without the USB connection. And ultimately, that leaves us with these two. The Audio-Technica AT4040 and Lewitt LCT440 Pure. Honestly, I couldn't pick a winner between these two, so I did leave the voting to you guys. And 1600 votes later, the LCT440 Pure is the winner for mic under $300. Now, before we get to the microphones under $200, if you are enjoying this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, a huge shout out to our sponsor of today's video melon audio if you are someone that's looking to take extra care of your condenser microphone and you're looking to store and protect your microphone melon audio have many microphone cases that are perfect for the nt1 at 2020 i've got the tlm 102 case sure sm7b case they've got so many awesome wood microphone cases and usually you don't get these cases with budget microphones if you're interested in getting yourself a melon audio microphone case today make sure to check out the link in the description below. Guess it's time for the microphones under $200. All day staring at the ceiling making friends with shadows on my walls. All night hearing voices telling me that I should get some sleep because tomorrow might be good for something else hold on I'm feeling like I'm heading for a breakdown and I don't know why cuz I'm not crazy I'm just a little unwell I know right now you can't tell but stay a while and maybe then you'll see a different side of me I'm not crazy I'm just a little impaired I know right now you don't care but soon enough you're gonna think of me and how I used to be all night hearing voices telling me that I should get some sleep because tomorrow might be good for something else all night 
Hearing voices telling me that I should get some sleep Because tomorrow might be good for something else All night Hearing voices telling me that I should get some sleep Because tomorrow might be good for something else All night Hearing voices telling me that I should get some sleep Because tomorrow might be good for something else All night Hearing voices telling me that I should get some sleep Because tomorrow might be good for something else All night Hearing voices telling me that I should get some sleep Because tomorrow might be good for something else Now, listening to that sound test comparison, all these microphones under $200 sound really, really good. But the one microphone that stands out the most is the Rode NT1A Signature Series for $160. The LCT240 capsule and accessories can't match the Signature Series. The build of the Spark SL isn't up to the standard of the rest. The AT2035 sounds great but lacks quality accessories. The P220 doesn't offer the polar pattern versatility of the P420. The only other mic that can really compete with the Signature Series is the AKG P420 because of the extra polar pattern options but the $40 difference keeping in mind that you get more accessories with the Signature Series and that a lot of us don't use different polar patterns unless we're recording multiple instruments, the piano, it's really a great deal and therefore I'm going to have to put the signature series at the top. Well there we have it, from 25 budget microphones I believe we've picked the best in each price category. Don't worry I did do a separate video of the microphones under $100 so make sure to check it out if you want to see how this microphone ended up being the $100 winner.